I've got a different kind of review book, one that surprised me when it showed up in the mail. Let's check it out. Hello everyone, I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding. Subscribe to my channel to get updates whenever I release new videos featuring Disney books, theme park books, Disney history, and other items like this. This book showed up in the mail the other day and I had no idea it was even coming out. Uh, it makes a lot of sense coming, uh, this is a review copy from Disney Press, Disney Editions. I haven't even opened it yet to take out the press release that they send with their books. A uh, book about ABC News, 75 years in the making, text by John Baxter, forward by David Moore, after by Lindsay Davis. So this kind of makes a little bit of sense, not from the theme park perspective, but you do have to remember that when Walt was building Disneyland, ABC, which was third in the rankings of all the major um, channels, they gave money to help Walt make Disneyland. And then, uh, what, 30, 40, 40 some odd years later? <laughs> Somebody will tell me for sure. Disney bought ABC or merged with them. Anyway, so this looks like a beautiful photograph book that takes a look year by year. Let me jump back to the table of contents real quick because I sort of skipped over that. Yeah, so it looks like it starts with the current year and then jumps all the way back to the beginning. Um, looks like it's going to take a look at all the major stuff that happened during the year. Okay, here we go. Back to 1945-1959. This looks pretty cool. The third network. <laughs> so it looks at some of the shows that they may have done, some of the news that they covered, some of their anchors, how they worked. This is actually quite fascinating from an historical perspective. Jumping forward to the next century, a uh, decade, excuse me, they're interviewing uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. Hmm, the presidential race. Getting into uh, more news, it looks like. Wide world of sports. Fascinating. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. I just don't want to miss anything. Up, oh, look, Peter Jennings. Looks like a baby. <laughs> All right, we'll jump through. This is a pretty neat looking book, coffee table book, Sam Donaldson, a lot of familiar names and faces for people that watch television, watch the news growing up before the advent of YouTube and Twitter and all those other great social media things. Um, covering the Olympics, wow, that screams 1970s, I almost expect to see it on a small world today. Fantastic journalists that we all know and love and come to respect. Okay, so this is not only just a history of the last 50 or 60 years, but how the media covered it, ABC News, the changes with ABC News and everything that they went through. This is really kind of exciting. I like it. Wasn't expecting to be not really enthralled with it, but my interest is completely piqued. And I do want to check out more about this book. I think you will like it too. Changes in how media presented itself celebrities, political figures, sports people that they interviewed. You might recognize some of these faces. I think this will be a shorter video than normal because there are a lot of great photographs here. Oh, Twin Towers, wow. Um, interviews they've done. A lot of repetition. A lot of stuff stays the same. Uh, good morning, America. A lot of... Mm moments in our lives are documented here. Oh, this is really kind of, this is neat. I like it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look. Is this something that's worth picking up for you? One thing I'm looking forward to, ah, well, they got photography credits and they do have an index here, which is good because I'd want to kind of see if it covers anything Disney related off topic. So Disney ABC mergers covered, Walt Disney's covered, Disneyland is covered. Let's go back to that page, 38 to 40. Looks like I just skipped it over. Oh, so a little bit of text would have been on these pages. Yep, Walt Disney's new theme park. And they probably talk about it on this side. And let's see, Michael Eisner's covered, no Epcot. Let's 
see if there's any Magic Kingdom. No Magic Kingdom. Let's see if there's a Walt Disney World. Nope. No Walt Disney World. So, okay. That's really interesting. So, yeah, overall, if you're a news junkie, I think this is going to be a great book to add to your collection. Um, it looks fascinating. A great overview of the past, wow, 70 some odd years of ABC News. Collected there were some fantastic photographs. A remembrance of, you know, how the news evolved and how it changed and how this uh, small uh, television station turned into something bigger. So overall, yeah, I really, really liked it. Really enjoyed it. I think you should grab a copy of it too if you have an interest in ABC News, ABC Television, if this is what you're, what you're into. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this book. It sort of surprised me. I'd love to know your thoughts, your interest in it. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Erding, and I hope to see you in the parks.